Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Gamer Couple. My name is Sam, and today I'm going to be guys' host for this video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to upgrade the crossbow wonder weapon by round five in the brand new map, Raven the Redwoods. As you guys all know, we were the first in the world to do Alien Blaster by round five in Zombies in Spaceland, and we are here again to upgrade the crossbow for you guys by round five in Raven the Redwoods. It is so good to be back, my friends. Let's see if we can aim for 100 likes on this video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this tutorial. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is spawn into the map. From here, we're going to run up the stairs and buy the M1 off the wall. Now, shoot every zombie in round one, one time in the lake, followed by a melee kill. Once round one is complete, go ahead and repair the barriers for round one and two to maximize your points. Now we're going to shoot every zombie in the leg two times, followed by a melee kill. Do this until you have one zombie left, and then open the back door to the cabin. Run down the trail until you get into the mess hall, and then pick up the item off the top of the garbage can. Once you have that item, go ahead and run out of the mess hall and towards the cabins. Go ahead and open up that door for 1250, and now we are ready to look for our first statue piece. These statues spawn all over the map, but this general vicinity has the majority of them. If you guys are unsure about where they spawn, I have linked a Reddit post in the description below showing you all of the spawns for the statues. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into round three, and you're going to want to pop your Fate and Fortune card scope dollars. Once you go ahead and pop this card, shoot the zombies in the leg three times, followed by a headshot so you can maximize your points to the fullest. During this round, you will also receive your first pouch. Make sure you go ahead and pick this up, or you will not be able to enter rave mode. From here, go ahead and finish off the zombies by maximizing your points and only leaving two left once you do that go ahead and open up the door towards the mine and then go ahead and open up the Let's mine door itself now head down the tunnel into the basement flip on the power and then go over to the knife throwing game once you get this game down you should be able to land three to five headshots yielding you three to five hundred points remember to play this game in round three and four to yield you an extra 500 to a thousand cash now go ahead and run up both sets of stairs in the cabin until you are on the roof on the back side of the roof, you will see the Juggernog machine, and to the right of that, you will have your second piece. Now head back down to the cave area and open up the recreation area. At the end of this tunnel, go ahead and open up the door to the main stage. Directly to your right will be your last piece, and after you grab that last piece, go ahead and head to the speakers in front of the stage. Go ahead and place down whatever trophy you picked up, or all four trophies if you decided to do that, and now we can start collecting souls. The other guys that I've seen say that you have to shoot the zombies in the legs, in the arms, and in the head, but from my experience in doing this multiple times all I have to do is get leg kills you know you're doing it correctly when you shoot the zombies in the leg and once they die they explode Continue to do this until your zombies no longer explode, and then go ahead and pick up your statue from the speakers. Now run back to the mess hall and open up the door to the lake. Follow the trail until you get to the boat, and then take the boat to Turtle Island. Once on the island, go ahead and head up to Kevin Smith's room and go to his bathroom. On the floor, you will see a bucket of sausages and interact with them. You will now see your L1 is replaced with sausages. Go to the cabin and then throw your pouch in the fire. From here, you're going to go ahead and run over to the deer on the wall and throw a sausage at him. Once you go ahead and hit this deer, he will drop a little symbol that gives you a picture. Now you must repeat this in two more areas. The second area that we head to is the mess hall, rinse and repeat, and the third area that we head to is to Camp Owl. The second cabin on the left is going to have a deer on the wall. Go ahead and throw a sausage on him, shoot him, and pick up the last and final picture. Head back to the cabin, and now you will see the crossbows are unlockable. Once you grab your crossbow, all you have to do is go to your corresponding animal. We've already charged our souls at the speakers, and now all we have to do is run to our animal and place down our statue. Now around the statue, you must get only kills with the crossbow, and once you get enough crossbow kills, it will be upgradable. As you guys can see here in my footage, I actually upgraded my crossbow only two zombies into round five, which makes me believe if this was done right with enough patience, you would actually be able to upgrade this crossbow on round four. Anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below. If you guys are brand new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. We're going to have plenty more low round strategies for Raven the Redwoods. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Have an absolutely amazing day, and we'll see you next time.